Now, Lua functions have a unique ability to return multiple values. There's only two languages I know that do this, Lua and Golang, that I have experience with. And it allows some really unique features in Lua. The first is obvious, your functions are a lot more powerful. But the second is it works really well with their error handling mechanism, which we'll show in the future. So let's show you an example of how you can return multiple values. So we're gonna make a person here and they have a name and a health. And their health value is 50. And we're gonna have a uh, bad guy. He's not the bad guy, he's just a bad guy. Name is bad dude. And his health is 70. Because bad guys always have more health than the good guy. And we'll create a function called attack. And what it wants to know is who is the target that you are attacking and what weapon are you using? Because more we certain weapons have you know certain damage. So we'll say if the weapon, by the way, this function takes two parameters, the target you're attacking and the weapon. So we're gonna say if the weapon is a club, well, a club doesn't do a lot of damage, right? So it only returns six points of damage. But we need to know what's the health of the person you're attacking, like what's their new health? So we'll say bad guy, in this case, target dot health minus six. So this is how much damage it did, and this is their new health. And so if you've ever seen where like red text will kind of float up above a character when they get hurt, and if they get healed, green text will appear. So we're gonna do that. So this is the, the target's new health when you return. And we're gonna say else if weapon equals sword, then, and we'll copy pasta coding here and just change it to 10 because 10 is a lot more powerful. It's a really powerful sword. And we'll return that value. Else if weapon is a healing rod, it actually works backwards. It heals you if you attack somebody with it. So we'll say negative 10 because it heals you 10 points of damage like a potion and your target health is plus 10. And so you can use that n n number to animate in tween and that'll show the green text. All right, so let's, let's watch what happens here. I'm gonna move the output window down just a little bit here. And we're gonna capture the two values. So first I'm gonna print it out just to show you how it works. We're gonna attack the bad guy and we're gonna use a club. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, call this function. And you can see that it does six points of damage and it lowers his hit points to 64. So he started at 70, but because we did six points of damage, it lowered to 64. So you see how print did six and then 64. Now the way you can capture that is normally you would go the damage that you did and equal, but how do you get that second value? Well, just like you do parameters, you just do a comma and that'll give you the new hit points of the bad guy. So we can print that out and say the damage is this first value. And the second value is the new hit points of the bad guy. New hit points. Let's move that print C up here, hit run. And there you go. So you can see it's a little easier to read now. The damage is six and the new hit points is 64. And so this feature is super powerful by just simply having a comma on whatever line's doing a return. You can return multiple values and it makes your functions really powerful because they can do a lot of stuff and then give you a lot of results back. Very, very cool.